Hi again boys and girls, welcome back to our next science lesson. Today we're going to be learning more about the weather and specifically today we're going to be focusing on the clouds and the sky. Now last week we did some great learning about weather symbols. If you missed that lesson or if you're away then you can go back and do last lessons first before you try and do this one. But if you've done that one and you're all up to date then let's dive into our new lesson for today. So I'm going to switch over to our work. I have here a picture of a nice blue sky. Now next to it I've got some space. Now because you're working at home or at school uh, you don't have this picture at home so all you need is a piece of paper and you're going to uh, do some writing about these pictures and then draw a little picture next to them. I'll show you as we go. Okay, now um, because I'm writing on the computer here, my writing will be a bit different, but I'll, um, you guys can copy me as we do it. Okay, so let's have another look again at this blue sky. There are no clouds in this picture, none at all. It is a very sunny day on here. Now notice I can't actually see the sun. The sun's probably in a different part of the sky, but it's definitely there somewhere because it is a sunny day with no clouds. So here I'm going to write um, what the clouds are like this day, just in regular words, normal words. I'm going to write no clouds. Okay. All right. So I've got no clouds written here and uh, you can actually write that down at the same time now. So you can actually pause this video and, and copy me as we go. So on a piece of paper, you just want to write no clouds, just like I did here. Now, once you've written no clouds, afterwards we have a science word that we use. So instead of saying there are no clouds today, we say a special science word that is clear. Okay, we say it is clear. All right, now that's, um, you might have even have heard people use that word. You could say it's a nice clear day, which means there are, there's no clouds in the sky or, or practically no clouds in the sky. Now, I just want to point out something with my writing here. Can you see how I've written the word clear here? I've got the C, L, E, and then this funny one here. This one here is actually a computer A. It looks different to the types of A's that we do in class. But whenever you see this funny one, that's an A. You don't need to copy my A, you just do one of your normal A's, okay? There you go. This is, um, and then the R at the end, clear. Okay, so pause this video, write down no clouds, then next to it, write the word clear. And then next to that, I want you to draw a little picture. In fact, a little symbol of a day with no clouds. And in this case, that would be a sunny day. So you draw a symbol of a sun for a sunny day. Okay? All right. Then when you're ready, we'll go to the next one. All right, now this one here, we have a picture of the sky that has a little bit of clouds. It's got some clouds, but not a lot of clouds, just a bit. Now this one is a little bit different, okay? We are going to do some writing again, but we will write it like this. We'll say some clouds. Okay, instead of no clouds, it's got some clouds. Okay, now there is a special science word we use when there are some clouds, but not that many in the sky. Okay, and that word here is partly cloudy. Okay, that's the special science words we use when there are some clouds in the sky. We say it is partly cloudy. Okay, 
you try saying it as well. Partly cloudy. Okay, so now's the time where you can pause this video again. I want you to write down some clouds, then write down partly cloudy, our science word for it, and then do a little weather symbol for our partly cloudy day. Now, you um, might remember that our partly cloudy one would look something like this, but no rain there. Just a little bit of sun and a little bit of clouds. You can make up your own symbol, a simple picture, very easy one. Okay? All right. Now, let's move on. We've got another type. Ooh, there's a lot more clouds in this one. This one is really easy because there are, well, there's lots of clouds in this one. So I'm going to write that. Lots of clouds. Okay, lots of clouds. Now I'm writing them on top like this really big so you can see it, but you can just write, write it down straight if you want. Lots of clouds. Now, when there's lots of clouds in the sky, the science word for that is super easy. It's just cloudy. It's a cloudy day. Cloudy. There we go. So, once again, pause the video and I want you to write lots of clouds and the science word cloudy and then draw a, a weather symbol for when there are it is a cloudy day. And all you need for that is lots of cloud, maybe a tiny bit of sun, but just lots of clouds. Okay? Last of all is this one here. The sky is covered in clouds. I can't see any blue sky anywhere in this picture. Okay. That means I'm going to write here I'm going to say there is no blue sky. Okay, no blue sky. It's all cloudy. It almost looks like there's going to be a, like it's going to rain soon. It could rain any minute pretty much. Okay. Now, when there is no blue sky, there was a special science word that we have been practicing. You might remember what it is. It starts with an O. Okay. That word is overcast, overcast. So now we have our description of the sky, no blue sky at all. The science word for that is overcast. And next to it, I want you to draw our weather symbol for when there is no blue sky when it, it's overcast, okay? And the weather symbol for that, you might remember from last week, will probably look something like this. We can't see any sun at all, okay? Now, you don't have to color these, um, these weather symbols in. If you don't have enough time, you can just draw them very easy and we'll see that there's clouds, but no blue sky. If you do have time, then definitely give them a color in as well, okay? boys and girls, once you've done all of those, then you have um, finished the work today for science. There's a fair bit of work to do there. We've got some writing and some weather symbols. Do those on a piece of paper and bring them into um, class once we um, are allowed back at school and we can also share them together in science. All right. Have a great day, guys. I look forward to seeing your pictures of the different weather symbols and your beautiful writing. Uh, have fun, and I'll talk to you next time.